I'm going to create an announcement to let my students know what they're going to be doing for each week of distance learning. So I'm going to go over to announcements in the left hand module. You want to make sure your announcements are turned on. If they're not, you need to go to settings and navigation and make sure your announcements are in this top section. And if you have to move it, make sure you press save so that it saves and that it's visible to your students. Now, when I click on announcements, I'm going to click plus announcement in the top right hand side of the screen, and then I'm going to give it a title. Then I have all of this where I can paste text in or I can even make a video. I'm going to press enter just a few times because what I'm going to do is I actually have a Google Doc that I've created that has an introduction to my students and kind of a description of what they're doing each week during distance learning. So I am going to embed this. I don't just want it a link. I want them to just see this document right on the announcement. So I'm going to go to file in my Google Doc and publish to the web. Now mine is already published. So when you first go to see this, you're going to choose to start to publish it. Mine's already been done. So once I publish it and I say OK and yes, whatever it prompts me to say, I click embed. Then I copy this code, control C, and I'm going to paste it here, but I'm not going to do it in the rich text editor in this main screen. I need to click on HTML editor up at the top right. And I put these spaces in because I want this to be, I want to put something else on top in a minute. So now I'm just going to paste in this embed code. Now what happens is it makes it small and I don't want the document to be small. I want it to be the whole page. So I'm going to go back to HTML editor and right after true and the quotation mark, I'm going to type in width equals 100% and then height equals 1000 px for pixels. And that's going to make it so my document is the width of the screen and what the hundred, the thousand pixels long. Fortunately, you can't do a percent for the height. You can't do a hundred percent. You have to do pixels. But now up here at the top, I might put like a welcome to my students. Or what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a video. And it's going to be a video that's just like my students can watch just so they can see me. And, um, I'm going to click on this little icon that says record upload media. It kind of looks like a YouTube icon. I click on that and I can record media. So I'm going to click um, start recording if I want to record a video. I can click webcam and for this webcam um, I have the option to turn off my video. So if I just want to do an audio recording that's how you can do that. But I'm going to show the webcam, so I'm going to choose the camera on my computer. And now I'm back. And so I'm just going to record something for my students. So um, welcome class to distance learning. And below you're going to find out what the different assignments are for this um, for the next three weeks. And I'll be posting updates to you guys. What you should do is when you're trying to find the assignments, look in modules. So in your left hand menu, choose modules and you'll see the module for our um, unit and you're just going to complete those assignments. The due dates are all on Saturday, so you have a full week to complete the assignments. When you're done, you say finish and you can um, watch the video. You can restart the video. You can title the video. I'm just going to say save. And what ends up happening once I save it, it takes a few minutes for it to save. It kind of seems like nothing happened and I might press save a million times. But it's actually working right now, hopefully. Um, it does take a little bit of time. But what's going to end up happening is when it's saved in the announcement, and you can also add these to assignments. You have that same record upload media feature in any of the text boxes on Canvas, even on tests or quizzes. And so you can record a video or you can upload media. Maybe you created a screencast somewhere else. You can upload that screencast as well. And then um, 
when you see it on the screen right over here, it will just say something like, oh, here it is. So this link will be replaced with the preview icon for the embedded media. And I have these like spaces right here. I'm just going to delete one of the spaces so there's less space in between the video and this. Um, and right now I don't see anything. Like I don't see the video. It's going to look a little different for your students. I am going to post it to all sections. I'm going to not save this right now because I am just doing this as a sample. I don't want my students to actually see this at this point. So I'm just going to click delay posting and this is going to allow you if you want to like schedule things in advance you can. But I'm going to delay posting till the 28th so my students don't actually see this right now. And then when I press save what you are going to see is this video right here. And so students can click on the video and it's being converted right now so it's going to take a minute. Um, but when they click on this video, it actually opens up as kind of a bigger screen so they can watch the video. And then they can see the document that I inserted here. So let me try one more time. So, so here, the, um, welcome class. So here the video opened up big so the students can watch it and to um, see the whole thing. And then they can look down at the rest of your notes. I would recommend adding an announcement at the beginning of each week. It's especially important for the students to kind of see you and to make it more personal. So uh, making videos is not my favorite thing in the world, but I think it really helps in times like these for our students to be able to see us.